morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet. Today is Tuesday the 18th of May and it's a normal work from home day, dropping the kids off at school day. I've got an errand to run this morning and then I've got an Ocado shop coming this afternoon. So I'll be filming that and putting it up separate because it's the first one I've drawn in years actually. When I first started this channel, um, I did a phaser ordering from different supermarkets every week and uh, I think I'm going to give that a trial again just to just to vary things a little bit now I'm on um, calories so I'll be showing you what I eat for 1350 calories these are reduced slightly to what I should be having which is 1500 because I'd set an easy day on Saturday and I went over on Sunday so I've had to pull it back so yeah a little lower than normal but it'll all be back to normal on Saturday so here's what I ate for 1350 calories so this is breakfast this morning, it is a bacon and egg flatbread, the flatbread I've weighed, it's the Tesco one and it comes in at 102 calories, the bacon has also been weighed when cooked, it's the Morrison's reduced fat medallions, they're 61 calories, the ketchup is 10 grams for 10 calories, the egg was 62 grams for 81 calories and I've used two sprays of Tesco Sunflower Spray for four calories, so 258 calories in total. So, quick dinner for 182 calories. I've got a bagel thin with some clover light on and a little bit of tuna mayo paste, the prince's paste, and a satsuma. So, really quick and easy because I've been unpacking all the shopping and I haven't got any time left. So I have finished work and I need to pop to Erin which is just down the street from me so um, I'm going to pop there. I don't really need much, um, it's just a couple of birthdays that are coming up so I've got some boxes left from when I was doing my chocolate boxes so I'm going to make a couple of chocolate boxes up. So I'm going to go and see what chocolate I can get. So I'm just back in from Erin and I thought I'd show you my bag of tricks what I've got. Obviously not all for me, they're for birthdays and stuff, but I think you might be surprised at something I've bought. Not the healthiest, but hey. So I've bought some your cake raisin and biscuits, they're 219 calories. Some toffee crisps, 162 calories, so that's not bad really, is it? I might put one of them in my tin. Um, got some more of the Maryland cookies, which are really nice, just like a Rocky bar. They're 96 calories each. Got a giant bar of Galaxy. I got two of these for the um, gift boxes that I'm doing. And they are for six cubes, 111 calories. Got two milk chocolate Oreos. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, this is one of my favourite. And... When I were binging, I could have quite easily have two of these bars. Um, Steve used to try and stop me, but it never worked. Um, got some Terry's chocolate oranges. They're 183, so again, they're not too bad, but you only get three in those. Got some chunky Kit Kats. Absolutely love Kit Kats. It's one of my favourite things. 166 calories each, so again, they're not bad because the smaller ones. Um, and then I got these because I thought these would be ideal for putting in the chocolate boxes. Um, and it, yeah, it doesn't really, it, oh, it says on back. Um, so it has got toffee crisps in for 198 calories, York 247, Aero peppermint 197, Kit Kat chunky 202, Munchies 133 per serving. I think per serving it's half of it. And Rolos, again, per serving, which is half of it, 124 calories. But these are bigger bars. So we've got a couple of them. Anything that's left over, obviously, will go in our tins once I've done the boxes that I'm going to do. Um, some Lion Choco Snack Size Bars, 148 calories. Again, not bad. Oh, and I absolutely love, oh, I absolutely love Caramac. 170 calories a bar. Getting to the bottom now, some peppermint arrows, 145. I'm going to come back to because Alex has just walked in. So I got these as well. I've never seen these before. Crispellos, fingers of light crispies, light crispies coated in milk chocolate per serving, 177 calories. So is this a full serving? I don't know. It's all in Arabic or something. I'm imagining that's per serving because it's small. 
I'm imagining it's 177 calories for it so all because it's small, but do not quote me on that. You all right, Alex? Oh, man. I've just given you an answer. Have you? Yeah, then you... Why do I put it You put it in your hand. <laughs> Did I? Have you put it back yeah, down? Yeah, you told me to let Bonnie in. So, I've got these as well. I've seen these on a few people's channels. And my kids aren't that keen on pita bread, but I think they'll like these, these softer ones. So I've got these, you get five in it, and they're 164 calories, but they are quite big. So it's the Warburton Soft Pitters. And I have never, ever, ever bought this before in my life. I have bought Donna Kebab me. <laughs> Frozen Donna Kebab. So, there were three options, and I have gone for the one that I thought was in the best package, packaging, and the one that was the lowest calories, and the one that had better cooking instructions. So, you can microwave it, oven cook it, or grill it, um, and you cook it from frozen, and for 100 grams, it's 288 calories, and I don't know whether that's cooked weight or not cooked weight. Per serving, a quarter of the pack is 576, but we'll work it out. And I'm not going to lie, it smells amazing from here. And I know kebab's not the healthiest thing, but I've been craving kebab for quite a while now. And going to the takeaway and buying a kebab, you're never going to know what's in it, are you? You're never going to know the calories. Least by buying it like this, in one of these lovely soft pitters... I'm, I'm kind of, I'm in charge of my own, I'm in charge of my own calories and it does smell amazing. <laughs> if anyone's tried this, please let me know. It's probably going to be like dog meat, isn't it? But I do love a bit of kebab. And another thing is this had the less ingredients than the others. The others, honest to God, the ingredients are that long. But this is just chicken, beef, water, rusk, like they, they always do, lamb, beef, and then your herbs, so fat, salt, onion, garlic, spices, and chilli. So I will let you know the verdict when I have that. We're not having it tonight, we're having burgers tonight. Not much better, but hey-ho. So I'm going to put all this away. So I'm hoping my friends aren't watching, but these are the little chocolate boxes that I've done for him. So I'm just going to wrap these up, and um, one's going in the post. And one's going, I've got her another gift as well, so that's going to go with that. So dinner is underway, we've got the steamer on, active fry, frying some burgers, some mushrooms. We're having Marks and Spencer's steak burgers. They look nice, so fingers crossed they are lovely. Hello, Bonnie. Um, and not too bad calories, it'll still leave me 200 calories. And um, yeah. I'm quite impressed with Cardo, so might order again, but it all depends on the food. Uh, we did have a substitution and ordered Warburton's brioche buns, but they sent these, but similar calories. I've just weighed them and they all weigh what you expect, so that's good, so I don't have to mess about adjusting anything. The steak burgers look lovely, and um, they're cooking all right in my pan as well. Do you know like everything's been sticking? I've stopped doing bacon in them and I think there's something in bacon that's ruining my pans because since I've stopped doing bacon, I've stopped doing it on my um, George Foreman. It's been a lot better. Um, I'm just going to talk to you about bagels. Now, today was the first time I've ever, ever had a bagel. The reason being is I'm a fussy eater and I'd categorised a bagel as a sweet bread. So I'd put it in with brioche, like, um, do you know, like sweet brioche with chocolate in, uh, croissants, things like that, and I don't like stuff like that, I think it's awful. So I've never had one, and I don't like cream cheese, so I thought, well, what can I, what can I try it with? So I, I had some Prince's tuna and mayo spread. Oh my God, it were amazing. Amazing, absolutely loved that, and it'd be really nice salmon spread on, so. I'm excited to um, get some more because Stephen kids will have them now. So, but I might actually go out and buy some more tomorrow because they were really nice. Not bad calories at all. Definitely something nice for breakfast. And I can see why people have 
smoked salmon on them because I love salmon and bread. I won't have it smoked, but yeah, I could cook some salmon up and quite happily have some salmon on it as well. Yummy. So I'm going to stir these mushrooms and turn my burgers over. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Again. So this is tea tonight. We've got the Marks and Spencer's steak burgers with axe fried chips. I've used the JD seasonings chip and wedge seasoning. Um, you can get a discount if you use my code. I'll pop that on screen. I think you get 20% off. It's a long time since I've used it, to be honest. But I always forget about it, but it is really nice. I've got um, tender stem broccoli and chestnut mushrooms. And in, I'm going to be having ketchup as well. And with the ketchup, it comes to 641 calories. So this is what I'm having for the rest of my calories. It's 177 calories. Steve's input it all into NutriCheck, but I've just quick added it. But hopefully it'll be on there permanently soon. Um, Steve's just had his and he said it was really nice. It's, if you can hear the rattling, it's because he's cracking open the Marks and Spencer cookies now. I'm very jealous because I really, really want one. But I haven't got enough calories. So I'm going to have this today and then maybe a cookie tomorrow. And I've got um, a sugar-free Vimto. So calorie-wise, I'm finishing on 1,336 calories with 14 calories to spare. Um, but you know what? It's one of the best days I've had in a while. I've just enjoyed everything so much that I've eaten. And I know I've had a lot of bread, but it weren't too much bread, really. <laughs> so the flatbread were only small. But yeah, I'd not had a flatbread in a while, and it was just delicious. And because I'd had two bacon medallions, and because it's only quite small, a flatbread, it was so full and yummy. And that was 258. And then trying one of the bagels for the first time. So I toasted it with nice and crispy. And then the tuna and mayo and the clover that I added made it soft. And it was just, it was just really nice. So I'll definitely have that again. And then tea were amazing. The Marks and Spencer's steak burger were really, really nice. I will definitely be buying that again. And those brioches that they sent as well. I can't pronounce it because it's like a French name. I've just zoomed in a little bit there. But they were 166. The burgers were 284, which is a little on the eye side for a burger, but definitely worth it. Um, and obviously, we ought veg and everything. It came to 650. And I totally forgot about my JD seasonings. So just to have that on the chips just made it just that bit nicer. So really, really good day. And I've just enjoyed it. I've enjoyed my food. So thank you so much for watching. I'm still thinking about what to do for tomorrow night, but we are tempted to do that doner kebab. But it'll be pretty similar to tonight. That's the only trouble. And then I think I'm doing roast dinner on Thursday because Marie's going to come round for one. Um, so, yeah, really good day. I shall let you know the verdict of these. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you've not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you could. Um, like I said, I will be filming tomorrow and the Ocado all should be up later on tonight. So thank you for watching. Bye.